Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust settings for audio input and output devices by using the Audio MIDI Setup app. This will allow you to create new devices to output audio and also create multi-output audio devices so that you can have multiple speakers or sound systems playing the same thing in sync so that you can have a stereo setup. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so to start off, we'll need to open the app on your macOS device. So, um, this Mac is running macOS Monterey, but this app it exists on a large number of macOS versions prior to this. So, don't worry too much about which macOS version you're running, whether it's Big Sur, Catalina, Mojave, they'll all work with this process. So, now what you need to do is either click Command Space to open Spotlight Search, or you can click the little search icon in the top right hand corner of the menu bar and then type in audio MIDI setup and then just click enter. Now you'll see the app open up like so and you'll see all the different controls. So there's already some existing audio devices set up here. So we've got my monitor which doesn't have any speakers so uh, these controls won't work on it. The external microphone, um, which is my headphones on their microphone right now. So that's what I'm recording on right now. And you can see that this is an input only device here. And you can change the format here and some of the uh, primary stuff. Uh, and you can adjust like the uh, balance of it, whether it's left or right. I'm not going to play with that too much because it's going to stuff up the microphone quality here. Um, We've got the external headphones, which is the same headphones I'm recording on, but this time this is for the audio output. And you can see here, this is where you can change the balance all the way to the left, all the way to the right, or somewhere in between. I recommend leaving that as 0.5 so it is balanced. You can change the primary value here, decibel values, all that. Now, don't worry too much if you don't really understand this um, setup here. That's a bit more advanced. You, in most cases, you won't need to ever touch those settings. Um, we'll get to how to create the new output devices in a moment. And then we've also got the Mac Mini speakers where there's also similar settings for it. So what we're going to do is to create a new device, we're going to click the little plus button in the bottom left-hand side of the app and we've got a few options here. We can either create an aggregate device or create a multi-output device. We'll start by creating an aggregate device and then I'll show you what a multi-output device is later. So we'll quick click um, create aggregate device here. And this is mainly used if you just want to have one device playing the audio. So what we can do here is there's a tick box to say use and you can say, all right, I want to use the Mac mini speakers for my device here. And then you can also adjust like the drift correction here. Um, and you've got your sub device. So if you had a couple here, you'll see that they um, have sub devices. But you can see that when I added the external microphone, we now have an input channel. So it's saying it'll input from the external microphone, um, so whatever that microphone is hearing, and then it will output that input through the Mac Mini speakers. So that's a way that you can create an aggregate device, and that works really well if you just want to make a device that has one input and then one output. So just not multiple, but just one at a time. So that's how you do that. You can also click Configure Speakers here, and you can adjust how the speakers are. You can either change them, you can have them in a stereo setup here and you can change the view of this. Um, I'll just leave it on isometric here for now. And you can also change the channels of the left and right hand speakers and do a quick, quick test and that will just play a static sound so that you can hear that it is definitely working. 
All right, so now we're gonna have a look at a multi-output device. So we'll go back down to the plus button here and we'll click create multi-output device. Now here you can see that um, this has some multiple sources that you can output to. And it says, the description is, devices in this multi-output group will output audio simultaneously. Check the use button next to a device to add it to this device group. So basically what you can do here is um, choose a couple of speakers that you would like to output to simultaneously. And what I can actually do here is I've got a Bluetooth speaker here, uh, a JBL speaker, so I'll just power that on quickly so I can show you this. And we'll go to the Bluetooth menu and you can see it's connected there now. And I can also tick to use the JBL Charge 4. So in this instance, if you had a song or any type of audio playing it would output to all of these speakers at the same time now when i've tried this before sometimes it works better than others like sometimes it is pretty sunk together but sometimes if you are using a bluetooth device such as the jbl it can be a bit out of sync like a little bit behind uh the timing so sometimes you may need to make some uh slight adjustments to that you can also change the master device so in that case, it might be better to use the Bluetooth device as the master device, so it forces the start of that a bit earlier, so it is a little bit more sunk. And once again, you can go into configure speakers and you can play some test static sounds. Um, I'll play what that sounds like here through the Mac Mini speakers. Like so. So that's just a little test there. Um, so we'll just click done on that and now that we've also connected the JBL you'll see there's another one here it's got two outs because it's got the two it's a two speaker setup and you can adjust both of those like so so yeah that's the process on how to create a single and a multi output device as well as also change um, more advanced adjustments for each of your audio input and output devices so I did make a video uh, probably a couple of weeks back now about how to adjust the sound settings on your Mac OS device. Um, that was a bit more of a basic overview just in the system preferences app, but this one uh, is more advanced, like we're using the specific audio MIDI app and we can create aggregate and multi-output devices. So that's sort of how this process works. But if you would like to see that system preferences overview, I'll leave that linked in the cards right now and in the description below. So you can check that out if you would like to see that. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in adjusting your audio settings and creating these new output devices. And let me know in the comments below how that you've set these up in your homes and um, how it has worked for you. And also if you've got any video suggestions, you can just leave those comments below. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.